Hi there, Robin here. This is a video about me being open and vulnerable and to what I do to cope with personal issues and to release them. I do this art therapy exercise sporadically as my personal issues don't ever really leave me, but slowly as I've done this uh, type of exercise intermittently throughout my life, my limiting beliefs are lessening each time to where I can now look at them in the plus column instead of the negative column. This will be an easy drawing, not particularly challenging as the focus is about releasing emotional issues rather than creating a work of art. I will create myself as a cartoon as it immediately softens and lightens my view of myself. I like cartoons, they make me happy. The vulnerable part of me is my learning issues and mental issues. So if you are sensitive, and this may be a trigger for you, I invite you not to witness this exercise until you have some support, either of a professional or personal caring people around you. This is an exercise that I use that helps me, and I'm just showing you the process of how I work through all the parts of it. I'm not doing this for sympathy, but as a demonstration on how to use this exercise as a potential tool for you to use. If you wish to view this, oh, well, you can view it any way you like, but for me, it's about letting go and releasing with no judgment. I'm not a doctor or counselor. I'm just a person who is going through my stuff and sharing what works for me. This warning is done and complete. So are you ready? Let's create and move forward. I have found that after each of this kind of release exercise, my art becomes even better and easier. I take more chances, I'm freer, a little mental freedom really affects my creativity. I'm going to allow a few things to pop up and really not interrupt my flow. I'm going to write down some of the things first and I want to look at them a bit and feel the feelings. In the past, I've had several labels, some that were unkind and sometimes inappropriate or misunderstood. So now I'm an adult, uh, really a big adult, who can make some conscious choices on how I want to look at it and how I want to look at myself. I'm changing the game and I'm looking at it through different lenses. I will start by identifying some of those biggies. For me, and for you it will be different, but for me it's my ADD, OCD, and my dyslexia that often can define how I react and do different things. So I'll start there. I will acknowledge my stuff, be honest about it, and then I'm going to find the gifts that I receive and then I'm going to let everything go. When I was a kid, those conditions or learning issues were not understood or really even wanted to be understood. I was really good with my coping skills, or at least I thought he was. Maybe I masked the issues so that it would be accepted better. I don't know if I was as successful or not, but I sure tried. I decided after making this list of mind streaming thoughts that I needed to give my inner dialogue a face. So I made it a comedic face whispering in my ear. It kind of goes on in real life. And then I got to shut it down. I got to laugh and I got to let it go. So thank you protective me from me and thank you flexible me for creating unique and interesting survival skills. I guess this is why there are so many books devoted or geared to adults or survivors with these issues. It was to help themselves and to help others recover from these kind of experiences and the lack of understanding and support to give it to others. These people have scars too and they are sharing in how they let go and moved on to help others. So thank you other survivors for sharing with me and giving me exercises like this that help me to grow. I wish to let go of those people, teachers and influencers in my life who made things more challenging in the past. But those scars have marked me. But they also gave me some very good lessons. So. Mm, let's be kind to them and yourself and let go of some of this negative stuff to make it to make your life better or in this case my life better here's a thought a thought I want you to think of in the future only if you let their opinions be absorbed in you do they become yours I have problems spelling and processing and have had to put many words and sequence of words together into a body memory 
What I mean is this, I don't think about them anymore. I've practiced them over and over again to turn them into a memory or reflex. This is a great skill that is in my arsenal of survival. So thank you, younger me, for creating good memory skills. My combination of labels also includes auditory or hearing processing and vocal processing. That's a part of why I'm uncomfortable in crowds and shy away from them. To share with you, I'm not deaf. In fact, kind of the opposite. I hear and see a great deal, but I can't differentiate from any of them. It's like turning up the volume really loud in a club or music festival and trying to talk, but not all the time. It's not fun. I have found that I'm better in more intimate surroundings and have deeper friendships and, com and conversations because of it. So thank you, quiet me. This is a two-parter, a little bit contrary, but it's how I work. My thinking can be somewhat cluttered or full. I have so, so much to think about. I have to really work hard to pick only one thought and work with that. I shut down my abundant ADD thinking and choose only one of them to allow my OCD to kick in. I will obsess over that stream of thought until it's complete, and then I start on the next one. Otherwise, I would get nothing done, and I would flit about like a butterfly from moment to moment. This is another survival skill that I developed that works for me. So thank you, Organized OCD Me, and thank you for the abundant ideas and very good ideas, ADD Me. When it comes to talking and communicating, oh, it can come out mixed and backwards sometimes or a jumble. Uh, too much thought or too many thoughts or things to come out at one time. This is the reason why I try to talk slower and why I write something down about 15 times before I'm happy with it. I mean almost everything. Sometimes even my to-do lists have to be written over and over or added to. It's good because it gives me time to review how my thoughts might affect people and to organize my thoughts. It also makes sure that everything is on the list. So thank you OCD and ADD me for figuring out this strategy and being aware of others and checking on the details. Now as an adult I realize that the way my brain works is actually a benefit for me in the long run. It has made me more compassionate and in some ways mm, very tough at the same time. It has also made me more creative and shows that I have a unique way of looking at life and so I carry on. Sometimes, however, I need a little refresher to remind me of that. So, thank you for the lessons and healing me. This is what I'm sharing with you today, these lessons that I've learned. Here's a way I'm going to go about this drawing. It's a little easy one, it's no big deal. But I will use an interesting symbol, an egg with wings made of light. I'm going to have my fun self, the cartoon, help the egg to hatch and let the and let the me, let the fun me, the cartoon me, let the limiting beliefs to be free to transform into wonderful things and wonderful ideas. Some of those I wrote down and acknowledged them and some of them I speak out that you might not hear. Some people might think that this kind of, might do this kind of exercise and then cover it up so no one else will see it. But for me, when I look back at it, I need to see the raw part of me so that I can give support to myself and remind myself to say the positives that have been converted from the negative. It's okay to be unique and different. It's also important to be compassionate and remember to be kind to yourself. Being different is not wrong. Look, we've all been judgy at one, at one time or another to ourselves or others. The important thing is to learn from those events and change it. Know your limitations and give yourself some boundaries. Be compassionate to yourself as well and do what you're ready to do, ready to look at at the time. Sometimes it's little by little and sometimes it's big steps. But do it with compassion. The world is changing and it will be compassion that will help us glide into a kinder and more graceful way to be. Enjoy this process of letting go, and bit by bit you will become lighter, more positive, more forgiving, more compassionate. And in the end, you will help to change the world with a little kindnesses. It will also change how you do art. 
you can make choices rather than by reactions. I personally enjoy being a little more aware of how I create and if I want to choose to have an enlightening different kind of artwork then I want to do it from a conscious place rather than a reactive place. So if you like this video I'm glad. I hope I helped. And so thank you for watching and if you like this kind of content let me know in the comments below and hit the bell icon. And when the bell icon pops up, hit the all button if you wish to be informed when I post in the future. I hope to hear from you soon. I've left information down below for anything you might like to see, like the materials I used, and also my all my social media contacts. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.